Hi everyone, it's Dr. Chan here. If you've had kidney stones before, you're gonna be really interested in today's topic. I'm gonna to talk about how roller coasters can help you pass your kidney stones. Stick around until the end, because I'm gonna sh share with you where to sit on the roller coaster to best maximize your chance of passing a kidney stone. This study came out a few years ago out of Michigan State University looking at this question of whether roller coasters could help pass kidney stones. The authors came up with this question after a lot of patients had come back from Walt Disney World and rode Big Thunder Mountain and then mentioned that they had soon passed a kidney stone. They made models of the kidney and ureter out of silicone and they put stones in it in different places. Then they put it in a backpack, hopped onto Big Thunder Mountain 20 times in a row. Here's what they found. A ride on a moderate intensity roller coaster could benefit some patients with small kidney stones. Because when you go to Disney World, you can't really control where you sit on the roller coaster. They had a chance to kind of test different locations in the roller coaster to see what the passage rates were. What was interesting was that seat location made a huge difference. Whenever they sat near the end, the stone passed almost 64% of the time compared to when they sat near the beginning of the roller coaster, where it only passed 17% of the time. So let's talk about why might roller coasters help kidney stones pass? The answer is possibly g-forces or gravitational forces. At rest, the gravity of Earth pulls on the body. But whenever you accelerate or decelerate, it can increase or decrease the g-forces. For instance, if the roller coaster goes down all of a sudden, the g-forces on the body actually drop. And this might be helpful for kidney stones that are stuck in the bottom part of the kidney. On the other hand, if the roller coaster was, were to go up suddenly, the g-forces on the body would increase. What that translates into is that the pull on things in the body increase, specifically for Big Thunder Mountain. It's been found that the g-forces top out at about two times the normal gravitational forces. Now another theory of why roller coasters might help kidney stones pass is if you think of the kidney like a funnel and you put in these stones in there, just having something kind of shake around like a roller coaster will help the different stones fall out. So there you have it. That's how roller coasters can help you pass kidney stones. So the next time that you have a kidney stone and you wanna to try to pass it naturally without having surgery, buy a ticket to Disney World and hop on to Big Thunder Mountain. I'll see you there. Thanks again for watching this episode. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take a minute and just hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any questions or any other topics of uh, urologic issues that you'd like to see, leave them down in the comments below. Have a great day.